we look here, these are sterling. Today, we're actually mixing it up a little bit on what the hails. So you're probably thinking, what the hails are you doing today? Well, we had the opportunity to go into a local celebrity's home and do a little bit of an estate buyout. We didn't buy the entire estate. We actually cherry picked what we wanted from the estate instead of buying it all. We were asked by the family not to record while we were in the home, which of course we obliged. But we've got some awesome things that we want to show you the next couple days because these things are absolutely incredible. And you can find them probably even on our eBay right now. So if you haven't subscribed, what the hails are you waiting for? Make sure you do because you're going to want to see what the hails we find. You're never going to believe what the hails we actually did last night. You want to tell them, George? We went to a local celebrity's home and did an estate buyout. So not only we, because we had to bring in backup, we had to get the power of the beard. What's up, YouTubes? So this is crazy. We can't share with you what the celebrity's name is, but um, well, well, we'll tell you his first name. What's his first name, George? It rhymes with... Rick? Okay, so it rhymes with Rick, but uh, we should probably just call him, we'll call him Richard. What you got, George? I gotta say, this is exciting. This was my first like estate buyout, so I, this was a different experience for me. I gotta say, it was a completely and totally gross. There was dog and cat hair everywhere, well, that's and I was the fact. filthy, filthy. That was besides the fact. Okay, so what do you got? We did find some really cool stuff. Here's a. Uh, so Suburban telescope. Beard picked the telescope out. Yep, he found this, and for parts alone, even if it doesn't work, was going for roughly how much? Uh, eighty dollars sold sold listings on eBay eighty dollars for parts for parts only so so not bad hopefully we can get more than that especially okay. if it works here's a tickle tummy let's see if it works it says mm -hmm. try me all right am I doing that right I don't know practice practice over here <laughs> let's give everyone else a tickle. <laughs> Tickle, 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 tickle. No, we don't roll like that. How about tickle, 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 tickle? We are not the celebrity. Our we do not love roll it. like tickle, that. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Instead of a fist pump, we're going to start giving away tickles during live streams. When you, you send a you super chat, me, George. I'll tickle you. Babe, you're getting creepier and creepier after doing this pick. <laughs> Let's see if this one works. Nada. Nothing. So the TMX, that came out after the original Tickle Me Elmo, but we're hoping there's still some value there. See, look, my tickles may cause uncontrollable laughter. That's what we like to bring to our viewers. Okay, however <laughs> however you want to roll with that. This is a box I put together yep. of all kinds of old electronics. We don't have to open them all because they're in there. I already know they're in there. Yeah, they're definitely so in there. So paperwork is in there, and the pieces are in there. For example, this one's in here. You found the box, and I found the actual device. And then we put it all together. Yeah. But that's the important part of picking. Don't don't stop. You gotta kind of look and see what you can actually find. So these are 35 millimeter cameras. Where normally I wouldn't want anything to do with it, but it's brand new in the box, so sealed. And so the nostalgia value of this, somebody may want it. And a lot of movies that are doing retro themes, a lot of the props people will contact you on eBay for this type of stuff. It's brand new. So that's where that's where the value was to actually look for it and pick it and then try and try and flip it. Same thing, it's in there. So a camera. Yep. And then there were some other things that didn't have boxes that I picked up as well. So it's just an old it's an old radio light. With a built-in light. Mm-hmm. This is an old draw poker. These things, as silly as it sounds, you put batteries in the back, and this is from 71, Waco. And the last one I sold of these on eBay, which was a couple years ago, admittedly, but went for over 50 bucks. Wow. 
This is heavy. That's battery just the pack. battery, but it's in the box. So we threw it in in our pick. So I found a couple of cameras and the retro old school cameras have a, a good following, but more often than not, it's in good condition. They want the lens, and a lot of the lenses can be worth quite a bit. So we'll have to look that all up as well. Hopefully we got big money. This, guess what's inside there, can you guess? Another camera? Yeah, but what kind? Polaroid? It is, it's a Polaroid. So... Oh, didn't we just find we one just similar? We just found one worth a couple hundred dollars. Pull up, pull up, pull up. More, more, more. Just scared to break it. There you go. There you go. So we got the Polaroid SX-70 land camera. So that's why we pulled that as well. The old Polaroid. Can you, can you use that to take eBay photos? Absolutely. <laughs> Perfect. And YouTube thumbnails and... Another vintage camera. So... This one's on the heavier side. Is that a fat joke? <laughs> Would you call me? You know me and Suburban Beard are right here, right? I'm big boned. I'm not fat. <laughs> this was a cool piece that we found in the China. Did you cabinet. throw that in there? Uh, I think Dolly did. Blue cobalt. Still a cool piece, though. So we have, is it plated? Let's look down here and see. Does that say plated? I don't see anywhere where it says plated. Whoa. A couple polished pieces that we also found in the china cabinet. This looks like from the homeland. Ohio. <laughs> you were born in Ohio, right? This was a cool piece that I found and threw in there. What's it say? Stormy rain. Change. Fair. Very, very dry. dry. So it's kind of like a barometer. Or a humor meter. It could be a humor meter as well. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Wait, what is it on right now? Very dry. <laughs> <laughs> this is a wearable TV. Again, another old school vintage piece. It's all in there. So hopefully a movie prop. Kind of takes some of this stuff. What do you see, Josh? I don't know. Is that a nipple? Clear your nostrils a little nope, bit. Nope, that's oh, two. <laughs> <laughs> so, who found this one? I did. George did? Yeah. Where did you find this one? This one was also in the living room. That I scored the, the most room. in the living room, yes. So, George found this in the living room. It's a Mead E. Must be a Mead E. So, it's a Mead Instruments. We have the Mead. <laughs> we'll have to see how much that goes for. Pretty cool. 80 to we 180. Oh, you already yeah, looked yeah. it up? 80 to 180? He's on top of it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh, yes. I found this tote in your trailer. <laughs> I think resale is high if you sign it. <laughs> It'd probably be in the negatives. You know what this means? You gotta put this on. That means eat more chicken. Right? It says it fits all. There we go. I'm gonna tell you <laughs> what I told Dolly. Start clucking. <laughs> yeah. Now go across the road. Go cross Why did the I road. cross the road? Why? Why would I cross the road? <laughs> so this is going to be more of the Disney. More Disney. Okay. Disney I Christmas. think there's yep, a couple of them in there. Oh, that might Yeah, that might do better. There we go. So 88? there's a 1988. Nice. We got like 5 of the years in there. I was 79. 6 years old. Yeah. This is this is another one. You not make these easy. Let's take this one. Oh, that's the Little Mermaid one, 2004. I found Babe, that one. That what, one I found in the basement. What's your favorite song from that that movie? The one you were just singing. You know what mine is? Hit them high notes. You got to kiss the girl. <laughs> Sha -la, la 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 don't you cry. You got to give a try. You got to. <laughs> well. It's not a red light. Manny said he wants a kiss. <laughs> oh, we got another popular science TV sound and weather report. Nice. Boy Scouts. Says Regal. Canteen. 
Yeah, this is what he's got. Yep, there we go. Yep, Official there seal. We go. George must have found that. Which one? The canteen. Yes. This th this was in the garage. I this, I think, this says one. made in China. Or it says Japan And on then the Dolly found that one. Okay. So Dolls found that one. Mm -hmm. Bobbleheads, Grease. maybe? Oh. No. I don't know what that is. You guys found a whole lot more stuff than I did. I was trying to find every nook and cranny. Little die cast. Yeah. Nice. That one's a 1931 Ford. Oh, these guys were finding the good stuff. I was in all the dirty junk. 1931 Ford Model A pickup. Josh, Josh was diving in the uh, diving in the turds as well. Yes. So it's a 1931 Ford, Ford Model, Model A coupe. coupe. Yes. Cover the name here. Oh, there we go. Check that out. Cool. And another Polaroid. And it's got the certificate of authenticity. authenticity. Mm -hmm. eBay pictures, here we come. Boop, boop. Effective. Strike a pose. I was going through all these and almost passed on them. It was jackets I've never seen before, names I've never even heard of on jackets. And so, but I took the extra 15 minutes and started looking them up. So, the cheapest jacket should resell for about $90. So this was in the walk-in closet, correct? Yes. All right, let's see what he has in here. These were hidden behind a bunch of other stuff. So this was one of them. I've never heard of this brand personally. What was in Geiger. Geiger. What size is that? Medium. Uh, and I saw another one, almost the same style. Um, the quality didn't look as nice as this one. This one needs a little cleaning, um, but it had sold for $89 plus shipping. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We got a Cleveland Browns. Yep, Cleveland Browns polo. I think this was a medium or large. It's a large. It's a Puma brand. I think the That's from back in the day. Yep. And NFL wow. logo on the back, so it's authentic. Wow. This I just thought was interesting. It's a Budweiser Cleveland jacket for the Grand Prix. And then it's on official. The back, it's official. These were also the pride and joys that I found. These were in the bathroom. These are authentic conch shells. Can you blow? In them? There's no hole in this one, unfortunately. But or there's the lots of there's lots of animal hair flying out and sand. And sand. See, authentic sand. <laughs> <laughs> there goes money. <laughs> uh, but I will tell you, resale on these, this size, anywhere between 9 to 13 inches in a cock shell is usually around 150 to 250 bucks, nice. depending on quality and condition. So we're hoping that these two shells right here can no. pay for the entire purchase, Would and then we can have a profit margin. I would definitely sell them separately, just to maximize dollar. Wait, George, hmm. you know what I was just thinking? Instead of- the dark one? No, here, can you- here, take the camera. Okay. I was thinking instead of selling them, fashion statement. What do you think? A conch bra? bra? Yeah. What instead of a coconut bra, a conch bra? You're very conscious. <laughs> yes? No? What do you think? A very conscious bra? Very conscious bra. person. <laughs> <laughs> this will be exciting. We need to test it out. Get some batteries in it. You can record it and play it back. Nice. We'll let Manny play with it. But uh, it also has it. the full list playlist of every college and university fight song. Sweet. Let's so have if, some fun. If we don't play with it, then we will be able to resell what that kind for of sure. Batteries do these take? Working ones. <laughs> oh, the sand got on this one, but this was the other one. This should, on top of the conch shells, fetch just about 180 to 280 on eBay. Nice. Another. Willis and Willis Geiger. And Geiger. Yep. And as the tuck, it almost feels like a duck fabric, like a waxed cloth. Huh. So it gives me that waterproof feeling. The zippers are in great shape, heavy duty. So you can go up and down, a perfect car coat. Uh, did not, it looked like it had an interior of some kind, but I did not see that anywhere in there. So, but the one that sold also did not have it. So I feel very confident nice. that we can definitely get some money from that. Uh, we did pick these up too, some photo slides, uh, some other famous people in the Cleveland area. 
military hats. Didn't have anybody's name on them. I don't think they've ever been worn. Didn't even look clean. Did have some pet hair, of course. Now, we do know that this famous celebrity, not to be named, actually did serve in the Air Force. Yes. So we do know that. So these are called flat hats. Are they? Is that because they're flat? So one of our subscribers no. said they're called flat hats. I think they're called flat hats because they're hats. And they're why would you? Why would you think they're called flat hats because they're flat? <laughs> That's just weird. <laughs> wait, wait. Hold on, guys. Hold it. Manny! Manny! <laughs> He's not listening today. 1999 Cleveland Browns. Now, I don't know a lot about football, but I think 99, was that the year they left or came back? Uh, it would have been when they left, wasn't it? I think that was the last year the original Browns were here. So that's why I picked this up because of the date on it. And it's just your basic portfolio. Some notebook paper inside and a calculator. The plans to leave. Go to go to Baltimore. Right. It's Everything's all in, in there. there. Everything's in it's there. It's all in there. Art Modell hand delivered it. This one I literally just got because it looked like a members only jacket. But the brand, Dog Hair, or Peter England, uh, actually resells still for about 40, 50 bucks, believe it or not. Nice. With this style. Just a little bit of cleaning. Mm -hmm. uh, these two I forgot I had in the pile. But I got it just because it said Six Flags Ohio, which doesn't exist. So, so collector alone. Yep. So, and Six Flags stuff sells. This was brand new. I'm seeing Coca Cola. Can't pass up on Coca Cola. Least amount of dog hair of anything else we found. But again, still has the original tag, the original price tag. The price is removed, but it's still brand new. Wow. Size medium. Very nice. Very nice. How much? You look very nice. <laughs> George, you got another tote. Yep. Okay, so again, these totes. If you've seen these totes before in other videos, it's because we brought them to They're put stuff in. We're yeah. recycling them. All this stuff, I think, might have been me. So, we've got... This is the only things that I found in the master bedroom. So, this was a thing filled with jewelry. jewelry. That looks now, like silver. These cufflinks, if we look here... Hmm. These are sterling, so we got it right here. I found two sets of sterling cufflinks, so they're right there. The cute little elephant piece. And it was just some other costume jewelry, so I just went ahead and threw that in. It's a pretty piece. Here's more. Um, this looks silver. Yep, cufflinks, sterling. So both sets. There are two sets that I found. So these are the two sets right there. Can you open that? I, I didn't even it. open it. I just went, all right. Huh. I didn't even look at it. I just threw it all in. They're very pretty. We threw these in. I guess me, I threw these in mm -hmm. just because old cars can sell for money. Yeah, so. they can. There's an electronic Webster's. So I've shared this with our viewers before. If it has Franklin, if it's an old Bible, if it's a, a spelling... A lot of these can sell upwards of $100, if not more, brand new. So we'll have to see what this actually goes for. But that's why that's in there. Now, I didn't look at any of these pins. I just saw a ton of pins in here. And those are collectible as well. So I, I didn't look at them. I just threw them in and kept on moving. Is that an old thermometer? Sure is. It's nice. an old thermometer pin. Yeah. George, do you happen to have the temperature? United States Air Force, NASA. Looks like something there. Sheriff, Sheriff of Summit, Summit County. County. Breast awareness. Some really cool pins in here. That would be cancer awareness. What did I say? Bad words. Oh, I forgot the word cancer. Now I have to edit. <laughs>